This is The Lockpicking Lawyer, and today we're going to discuss one of the most devastating attacks out there for standalone access control systems. I'm demonstrating this using a Fang brand fingerprint door lock, but this works on the majority of these standalone systems. Now what do I mean by standalone? That means the unit on the outside of the door will collect the credential, verify it, then signal the lock to open. It's that last step in the process that we're going to exploit. Now I've shown how this can be done by disassembling the reader in videos 1040 and 1045. I'll link those videos below, but that can be slow and there might be a tamper detection system in your way. I'm going to show you a much faster method. What you need to understand is that almost all of these systems contain an electrical component called a relay. That relay controls the flow of power to the lock. If we look at this keypad, we can see the relay is this orange box. A relay is nothing but a small electromagnetically controlled switch, and it's actuated when a small internal electromagnet is powered up. So, if that relay can be thrown with an internal magnet, it can also be thrown with a sufficiently powerful external magnet. So let's try that right now. Currently locked, I'm going to take this magnet, place it right on the side, and it's unlocked. Locked, unlocked, locked unlocked. Folks, this is a shockingly common vulnerability on these standalone systems, and it's just one more reason why they need to be avoided. In any case, that's all I have for you today. If you do have any questions or comments about this, please put them below. If you like this video and would like to see more like it, please subscribe, and as always, have a nice day. Thank you.